Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Star Lord. How are you guys doing? Hope that you're having a good day. I'm pretty happy right now. I'm getting so many videos done and I'm really enjoying doing YouTube at the start of 2018. What a great start to the year. Anyway guys, I hope that you're having a great start to the year. I really wish the best for all of you. And uh, yeah, today's video we're going to be talking about events in Pokemon Brick Bronze. I know that you guys like these discussion videos and also I know that a lot of you guys have actually noticed that many of my discussion videos um, where I give my kind of personal opinions for updates in Pokemon Brick Bronze seem to be kind of getting noticed by the developers such as you know a lot of the new updates like the Safari Zone and stuff like that. I'm not saying that because I mentioned it they put it in the game but some of my kind of um, ideas they did kind of implement them in the update so you know these videos are really good for the community and this is a chance for your guys' voice to be heard in the comment section below um, but anyway today we're gonna be talking about event Pokemon in Pokemon Brick Bronze and what kind of events we can hopefully see in 2018 and um, I kind of want to talk about that I would like to see more events personally I don't know I feel like a lot of the big holidays they do do events for them which is great but there are some minor smaller ones that I really think they should kind of look at and I don't know maybe consider doing something for them it would be kind of fun uh, but anyway so before we get into the video guys don't forget to leave a like as it does help me out and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and don't forget to turn on notification guys come on please please what are you guys a bunch of noobs um, but anyway so Although you pro guys probably already know, we have already had nine events in Pokemon Brick Bronze. And one of the first events that was ever, ever done, I think, was in the Pokemon Brick Bronze demo version, which I guess could be like, I, I guess like an alpha or something, or maybe a beta. And that was on the 24th of October, 2015. Yes, that was so long ago. It was absolutely crazy. Um, and basically, since then, um, Pokemon Brick Bronze became free access on the 22nd of October 2016, uh, which was, you know, uh, a couple of days before, after, uh, before even. So, you know, right as they released the game, they did an event, which was, you know, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, so, although you guys already know, we did get an event where all you had to do was kind of go to the official Roblox group and follow po Pokemon Brick Bronze and you got a shiny Eevee. So that's the first event Pokemon. Then after that, they had the 2015 Christmas event, which actually introduced the shiny Snover, which could then evolve into Abominus Snow. And then I'm pretty sure you could also get the Mega Abominus Snow. I'm not too sure about that though. I'm, but you know, maybe, maybe. Um, and then after that, they had the Manaphy event, which, you know, the Manaphy egg would wash up onto the shore. You had to go and find it. And it was like a one in 1000 chance of finding it, which was absolutely crazy. Uh, crazy, 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 crazy. And then after that, they had a Rainbow Bidoof lucky drawer where users would have to kind of, I think it was something to do with their Twitch account. And you would have to go to the Twitch and they would kind of pick out random winners who would get a Rainbow Bidoof. And they also do a couple of these every now and then throughout the year on their Twitter. So, uh, you know, it's pretty good to actually follow the development team on Twitter because you never know, you might get a, a Rainbow Bidoof and it's for free. So that's pretty cool. Then... After the Rainbow Bidoof, they actually did a 2016 Halloween event, which I was very late for, which gave you a white Haunter. And this was really cool, because then it would evolve into a white Gengar, and I'm pretty sure you could get a white, a white, um, a white Ghastly too? I'm not too sure about that. I'm, I'm pretty sure, because I'm sure you could make, you could like, breathe it, or something like that. But I don't know. Anyway, so we got a white Haunter, which is pretty cool. And then obviously the 2016 Christmas event introduced a uh, Alola form Shantru, a Alola form Vulpix, a Alola form Slanslash, and a Alola form Ninetales, which was very cool because all of those guys are like my favorite Alola forms. They're amazing. And then after that, uh, we had the 2017 Valentine's event, which introduced the Hardtail Pikachu, which was absolutely crazy awesome. And then also we had the 2017 Halloween event. Event, which introduced Marshadow Mimikyu, and then the Christmas event, which introduced the Skeptile uh, that kind of looked like a Christmas tree, right? So they were all pretty good events, and honestly, I loved all of them. I thought they were really cool, especially the Hardtail Pikachu one. I thought that was really, really cool and very out of the box. I don't know. I, I really enjoyed it anyway. Now, I don't know. Personally, to me, there are a lot of holidays that 
kind of they didn't do little events for and I would really love to see them do stuff like this um, throughout this year, throughout 2018. Now, I know that some of you guys are probably thinking now that all of the main events or all of the main holidays are, you know, good for events and they should just kind of leave it as that. But let's say, for example, um, I don't know, I don't know if you guys are aware, but in most countries, they have a thing called Gay Pride. And this is to kind of celebrate uh, lesbians, gays, bisexuals, transsexuals, all of them kind of people, um, you know, who who celebrate their 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 own sexuality and what their beliefs are and everything like that. And it's becoming very popular throughout the world. And this is how we got the actual rainbow flag. Now, what I was kind of thinking is like on that day when they celebrated it, which is I don't even know when they celebrate. Wait, 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 when did they do it? Because I know that in my city in the t in in the UK, they, it's like a big thing. It's so big. They actually call it Liverpool Pride. Um, and when is it? When's the day? Oh, I don't even know. I think it's August 2nd. Or, yeah, it's August 2nd um, in the UK is when they do it. And a lot of people take to the streets with the rainbow flags and kind of celebrate gay pride or, you know, just pride in general for anything. Uh, for le lesbians, gays, bisexuals, transsexuals, anything like that, they celebrate it. And what I thought would be really cool is this could kickstart one of the non-main kind of events in 2018. So, for example, don't just make events about big holidays, maybe make them about little things too, such as, you know, uh, gay prides, where you could introduce maybe, let's see, what's a flag looking Pokemon? Is there any Pokemon, Pokemon with a flag? Is there any flag type Pokemon or something like that? I don't know. Is there one that has like a, a flag or something on its, on its face or something? I don't really know. But maybe they could introduce like a rainbow looking one, or maybe give everyone Bado like a rainbow Badoof or something like that to celebrate gay pride. I don't know. I think that would be really cool personally. Um, But apart from that, there are many other like kind of uh, like kind of events around the world that are celebrated every year and I really think that the developers of Pokemon Brick Bond should kind of look at these events and kind of think well you know what that would be a really really cool event to actually put into Pokemon Brick Bonds. Just as kind of a small update where they introduce one little tiny Pokemon, that's all it is, it's just one Pokemon that has a different coloring and people can catch it for that day, that week, or whatever. I don't know, I would really love to see more events like that in the game. And the best thing about this is, you know, the main developers don't actually have to do this. The main developers don't have to focus on this. They can keep on focusing on the, uh, the Elite Four or the storyline when they can just kind of give this little event to another developer who doesn't necessarily focus on the main game. So, for example, when they introduced the islands, um, that was not the Pokemon development team that actually did it. I'm pretty sure that was a smaller development team who helped them create the islands, because I'm sure I talked to one of them. Um, but yeah, I, I would really like to see them give that little team more to do with these events. Um... But anyway, I'm kind of getting sidetracked here, and I'm kind of losing the point of the subject. Basically, what I want to know, guys, is does your country kind of do a little event every year, such as Pride, and do they celebrate it? And would you like to see that event in Pokemon Brick Bronze? Give me some examples of some events that you would like to see uh, in Pokemon Brick Bronze that kind of reflect on real world kind of events that we have. Um, I'm going to try and get some um, examples right now, so yeah, I will. I will be right back. Okay, guys, so I actually got a list of a lot of UK events that we have, um, and I know that a lot of people around the world actually celebrate these too. These are some really, really good ideas, because I'm pretty sure that they haven't actually done any kind of event for these kind of people. Um, so, for example, um, late January, early February um, is ch the Chinese New Year, and, you know, of course we celebrate New Year's for, uh, you know, uh, everyone that isn't Chinese, but it would be pretty cool if, you know, we could actually celebrate a Chinese New Year on Pokemon Brick Bronze, where they kind of do something really cool to do with that event. And then, obviously, when it gets to the 14th of February, we do have the Valentine's Day event again, which will be pretty cool. I'm hoping that they do an event for that again. But then, on the 17th of March, 
March, they also have St. Patrick's Day, which is a big, huge holiday in the UK and in Ireland, and I'm pretty sure a lot of the world actually celebrate St. Patrick's Day too. It's just kind of an excuse to wear green and get drunk, um, which a lot of people enjoy, a lot of adults really enjoy. So it'd be pretty cool if you got like an all green kind of Pokemon with a clover on its head or something. I don't know, that'd be cool. Then through March and April, we have the Easter holidays, which is kind of like eggs and everything or rabbits and stuff like that. I would really love to see something like this uh, in Pokemon Brick Bronze. Um, then we have a lot of, we have a lot of things actually. It's kind of crazy. Back in late August, we have the Pride, like I was talking about. Then on the 31st of October, we have the Halloween event, which will be coming back, which is really cool. Then on the 5th of November, we celebrate Guy Fawkes or Bonfire Night, as a lot of people call it, where, you know, Guy Fawkes uh, actually made the plot to blow up the House of Lords uh, back in the 1600s or something like that. I can't remember, uh, but it was something like that. I don't know. Personally, I think something like that would be pretty cool. There are a lot of events that I think that the Pokemon Brick Bronze team have kind of forgotten about because they're not huge events. And personally, I think it would be really cool if they did give them a little look and say, you know what, maybe Pride would be a good uh, kind of event. Maybe St. Patrick's Day would be a good event. It would kind of make a lot of players come back and it would give them maybe like three or four hours or two or four days of actually trying to get an event Pokemon which would kind of get them stuck back in the game whilst they wait for bigger updates that the main development team work on. I don't know, if you guys think that this is a good idea, please comment down below and also comment what kind of events you would like to see in Pokemon Brick Bronze in 2018. Like I said, your voice is here, your voice will be heard because I do know that the developers kind of look at my videos and I'm pretty sure that they do take on a lot of ideas. Uh, so if you do have an idea, do not think it's silly, comment it down below, and maybe, just maybe, in 2018, you will see it implemented into Pokemon Brick Bronze. But anyway guys, that has been all for today's video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like, have an awesome day, and until next time, I've been Star-Lord. Oh, see ya!